Well, this weekend, hundreds of people are expected to support a foundation dedicated to saving newborn lives. We have Anna Marie here with us from the Newborn Foundation. Good morning. Good morning. Tell me a little bit about how this foundation gets start, got started. This is really, I mean, this is your heart and soul. Yeah, yeah, it is. So, well, we, I've been working in health policy for a long time, yeah. so I was always interested in um, health care, health care in Minnesota, pediatric medicine, but then our third child was born and she was diagnosed at two days old with very serious congenital heart defect and a couple different things going on with her at that time and it was pretty catastrophic. I mean, she really barely kind of made it through those first couple weeks of life and once uh, she did and she got a diagnosis and yeah. was able to get these successful surgeries, we, uh, my husband and I kind of started looking at um, the gaps in the system and how we could potentially help other families not um, leave the hospital with a baby that looked perfectly healthy but had something really wrong. So one of the things that you guys have done is actually create a test, a really simple test for babies before they leave the hospital. You brought it with us today, with you today? Well, we didn't create the test okay. for sure. We didn't. You got but, it into but, the hospital, sorry. Yeah, yeah, no, it's okay. It's just um, we weren't um, checking babies before they left the newborn nursery for their oxygen saturations and that is really the amount of um, oxygen in your blood and it's something that when you're in labor you have that little clip thing on yeah. your finger or if you go to the outpatient clinic or you see babies in NICU settings, they all have this monitor on. Mm -hmm. So it's very kind of common standard of care. Doctors almost refer to it as like the fifth vital sign. Yeah. So it's like as simple as a taking a temperature or a blood pressure, but we weren't doing it on kids that looked healthy. And it was something that um, we found if you, if you did it on well babies mm -hmm. and they were below just a, a certain number, and that algorithm um, was sort of being developed with uh, doctors in Europe and the United States around um, this time, around when Eve was born, and, but none of that data was really being extrapolated and could we use this on every baby? And we started a pilot here that yeah. made that happen. And it's, it really is just a super simple test. You've actually brought it in and you just clip it right, right on the finger and yep. it starts going. Yep. Amazing. And so part of the reason you've been able to do all this wonderful work is you have a big event coming up, the gala this weekend. Kim and I will both be there. We're so excited. Tell us a little bit about it. So um, the gala this year is almost like a culmination of another meeting we're having tomorrow. Yeah. Um, that's a, a newborn health innovation forum at the University of Minnesota. It's being held, we're co-convening it with yeah. them and a hospital in China. So our biggest project right now is taking this newborn screening that we've done here in the United States mm -hmm into other countries. And China has been going on for a couple years now. It's the first time our partners have flown 7,000 miles to come wow. here and sort of learn and share with um, the doctors and the public health officials here on the ground in Minnesota. So it's really exciting and we're super overwhelmed and I'm kind of freaking out about it because <laughs> it's a lot going on tomorrow. But then they're staying for, for the gala, which will be really lovely so we can recognize all their good work. And, and all the wonderful work that you've done as well. Anna Marie, thank you for coming in this morning. Let's give you that information one more time that it's coming up uh, this Saturday. It starts at 5.30 Saturday night at International Market Square. Tickets are 175 and of course all of that money goes to helping newborns, not just here in Minnesota, but around the world. Anna Marie, thank you so much. Thanks, we can't wait to see you this it'll, weekend. It'll be a lot of fun. Jason, I know you've been there before. It's a blast. More than 400 people are expected to attend an event dedicated to helping save the lives of newborn babies. Joining us this morning is Anne Marie Serenin with the Newborn Foundation. Anne Marie, thank you so much for coming in. Thanks for having me. You really do have an incredible story and uh, the mission behind the Newborn Foundation. It's very personal. It started with your daughter, Eve, and a really scary time when she was born. Can you tell us about that? Sure. Well, we, should, we were just happy newborn parents like so many. We thought everything was perfectly normal and we were ready to take her home in her little car seat. and. It turns out that she was actually in heart failure at two days old, but you know, how is it possible that a baby that can look perfectly yeah. healthy can be so sick? Wow. So that sort of started our odyssey for us, and you know, we're so grateful that we're here in a place where we had access to wonderful care and that she ended up being able to survive that ordeal. And it was sort of the start of the Newborn Foundation to see how we can help earlier diagnose kids and make sure that kids that do have medical problems have access to the care they need in a timely fashion. And because when this happened to Eve, uh, there was a test, but it wasn't necessarily the protocol for hospitals to administer this test. And that was kind of your mission, starting out to get hospitals around the country to start using this test. Yeah, really, really truly, that was our first policy priority was to make sure that this simple test called pulse oximetry was added to what we call the uniform 
routine screening panel in the U.S. And I didn't actually realize there was a policy pathway for getting that done. And that was something we went after. Yeah, um, and you did it. In Washington, D.C., I would started a great pilot here in Minnesota among a, a number of hospitals and with the Department of Health. And within about a year and a half later, the Secretary of Health and Human Services recommended every newborn in this country be screened. That is fantastic. Now, obviously, this equipment, I'm sure, is not cheap. And you think about these babies in developing countries uh, sure. who might not have access. The doctors there might not have access. You came up, your foundation helped develop this technology that you brought here today, where you literally plug it into a cell phone. That's yeah. got to make it so easy for doctors in developing countries. Yeah, well, we're really, really lucky, lucky to have great partnerships with the medical technology community and we're we're kind of nerdy that way I'm mm -hmm. afraid is um, it's the geek factor of the newborn foundation we're always trying to figure out what new tech we can bring into the world but there's a company that had developed what was kind of the gold standard for pulse ox in the NICU and and for newborns specifically because they are a special kind of patient you can't just throw anything on them something sure. that's specialist to work and we said to them how do you reduce the cost and improve access of, of a device um, into places that can't afford it. And they uh, were the ones that set their engineers on this. Um, a company called Massimo out of California did that. And um, 18 months later, we had the world's first mobile phone pulse oximeter. And that's now what we use in all of our international projects in the Philippines and in China. Um, is a device that costs 10 times less than that, it used to. That is amazing. That is amazing. And it's great to see the work that you've done really in such a short amount of time. I mean, this foundation's only been around a, a handful of years. Sounds like you still have a lot of great work left to do to help babies around the world. So uh, we're very excited for the gala coming up on a Saturday night. Myself and Kylie Burst will be there as MCs uh, as well. Amory, thank you so much for coming in. Thank you. Jason.